Hello my family, welcome again to Direct TV bringing to you the truth. Welcome guys to this special episode of my video. And right in today's video guys, I am here again with um, the man of God, Pastor or Bishop um, David Oyedeko and his son Pastor Isaac. Now there is a particular video that is actually going viral guys that um, is causing the internet to actually shake. Alright, but there's, there's something I want to show you guys so that you guys will not be, you know, following the trend and just thinking that, you know, um no yedeko is going to fall or something well i'd like you to first of all watch the video of the son and the video that is actually going viral of the son talking which is pastor isaac talking and that's the video that people said that the man of god pastor isaac all right resigned from you know the church i'd like you to watch this guys and i'll be right back but before you watch that for those of you coming newly to my channel just kindly hit the like button like today's video and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel kindly hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. Please watch this. Just tell us who is <laughs> Pastor Isaac Oyedi. Wow. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, Isaac Oyedi is the person, not the pastor. Um, so first of all, I I'd want to say I'm a child of God. I think that's where I want to start. Before being called of God, first a child of God. Um, secondly, a youth. Um, I don't see this as a discussion for a generation, but my generation. So um, I'm a youth in every way, um, but also one that strongly believes in the assignment that God has given to me uh, to reclaim a generation and to ensure that this generation ends up seeing the fire of God, wow. revival in our generation. And so um, I, I would also say a learner, um, the one that doesn't learn every day is slowly dying. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I see myself as a keen observer, one that wants to know why things are done the way they are done and to keep improving that way. Uh, I think in a nutshell, that is who you ask me <laughs> <laughs> who I am. All right, my family. There is the video that actually is going viral right now. All right, concerning the man of God, Pastor Isaac, all right, talking that he actually um, resigned, all right, and several others that, you know, went to, I guess, his Instagram page and brought out some of the posts he made, all right. But here is something I know, I wanted to know about the man of God, Bishop um, David Oyedepo. That's why many people are just, you know, talking, talking, talking. But I'm more concerned, all right, because the purpose of many people talking is because they think that um the way that when pastor isaac is leaving um the church all right the church is going to like fall or have problem i'd like you to listen to the words of the man of god um bishop david Oyedepo, so that you better understand that whether or not the man of god pastor isaac is there in the church it cannot stop the church from moving forward please watch this guys and really understand that whatever is going online right now or whatever is actually spreading online right now all right it doesn't have anything to do all right with the church because the church will still grow and will function well please watch this video guys and i'll be right back to um actually share with you the rest of what i have for you but for those of you coming newly to my channel just kindly hit the like button like to this video and if you have not subscribed please subscribe watch this guys I said to God, now that I'm going into full-time ministry, are there other instructions I still require that I don't have yet? And so, uh, we're in a three-day fasting to clear final instructions for the movement. And then one morning he said, you have two eyes. I said, yes. Can you make one to look up and one to look down? And I tried this. Anytime you're looking onto man, never claim to be looking onto me but if you fix your eyes on me you'll never be ashamed <laughs> what a life wire what a life wire I would rather die than look onto a man for a thing to do the thing of God I would rather die than look onto a man than look onto me or to any other man Simple instruction. I will instruct thee. And they looked out to him. They were, not, they were light and they were not ashamed. He spoke to me from that scripture. So these eyes have been on Jesus only. Government come, government go. 
It doesn't tamper with our fortune. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Of supernatural or hinderable supplies. Of the back end of the lion which travel with you. There are no high and mighty in our church. Oh. Everybody you see is high and mighty. All those children, high and mighty. All those teenagers, high and mighty. Amen. Amen. Everybody here is His Excellency. The Son of the Highest. Amen. So what should you call the Son of the Highest? Amen. From inception till tomorrow, nobody has ever been given any special treatment in this church by reason of status. One personality, Jesus. He feeds all in all. And has never failed. Our secret is not just in giving and receiving. Our secret is in being tied to the collar. There you have it, guys. There you have it, my family. All right. Just in case you didn't know who the man of God, Bishop David Oyedepo, is. All right. Because I, I think, like I said in the previous comment I made, I think the reason why people are really talking, because so many people are really talking like, why should you leave the father's uh, church? Why should you do this? The, the man we are talking about is a pastor and is big enough. If he, if, he, if he says God has called him to start his own ministry, for me, I think that's fine. Because the church of Jesus Christ, first of all, is not about, is not about, is not about family. You see, it's not about family. So, if the man says God has called him and he wants to, you know, leave his father's church, there is no problem about that. And you know that every action that a person takes is actually dependent on the information that the person had. You see, so the action he's taking is dependent on the information he has. All right. So, if he says God has called him, you shouldn't come and nobody should attack him. All right, concerning what he has done because he has moved. All right, and the church. Of the man of God, Pastor David Oyedepo, nothing will happen to it because that's why that's why a lot of people are just talking. Nothing is going to happen to it. This is the man of God we are talking about, and this is the church of Jesus Christ we are talking about. It's not even the church of um, the man of God, um, uh, Bishop Oyedepo. It's not the church. All right, you heard it even in the video I played for you. You heard it as he said. He said that church is going to, uh, um, family is going to come and go. All right, everybody will come and go and go, but. The, the name of Jesus will never come and go. So that is what is keeping the church. All right. Not Pastor Isaac leaving the church. If he decides to leave the church, that's fine, guys. So just pray for the man of God, uh, Pastor Isaac, in whatever God has directed him to do. That's the proper thing to do, guys. That's the best thing to do. All right. If God has instructed him on what to do, pray for it that it should be a thing that is going to bring him into success. Thank you so much, guys, for watching today's video. I solely believe that you are blessed. And i also like to hear your own opinion in the comment section. Right, what do you think about what um, the man of God, um, Pastor David, or Bishop David Yedekbo have said? And also the man of God, Pastor Isaac. What do you think about um, what they said and what is going on right now? I'd like to hear from you. And for those of you coming to my channel, just kindly hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel. And if you have not liked the video, please kindly hit the like button and like today's video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, I love you.